Joshua Klaus, I showed you this cool. uh, earlier tonight. These people are outside. I don't know there was a game or something going on. But you see the little uh, light here, Cynthia? Yeah. See this right here? This is the thing that's freaking mm -hmm. people out. This too, of course. You can see the rocket here. Okay, and then you can see it's going this way, but then the, see how that, it's smoke that's going that way. Now let me show you this. So here's what happened. So here's Cape Canaveral, east coast of Florida. The launch went off to the east, southeast technically. It went all the way around the globe. There it is. And then right here by El, near El Paso, we had a second stage rocket burn. Okay, that's what gets it up into orbit because it's launching those Starlink satellites, right? So how does it get up there? You got to have that second stage rocket burn. You saw that rocket burn. Remember the, the rocket was going one way and then you saw the release from the rocket burn that took place. So and that combined with the setting sun, it helped eliminate, illuminate the burn high up in the atmosphere. That's what it was tonight. We've seen this, at least I've seen it a couple of times. I actually had an, an, uh, someone, Cynthia, from the Associated Press about three weeks ago uh, asked me, you know, what was this? You know, people all over the country have been talking about this because, you know, it went viral on social media. But that's this is exactly what it is. So it was a Starlink satellite launch night at six o'clock uh, Dallas Fort Worth time down at uh, the Cape Canaveral. Second stage rocket burn took place. The sun was at the right angle. Everything was just right. It was shortly after sunset. And that's what we saw tonight. I thought it was pretty cool. Tomorrow morning, an annular, not an annual, an annular solar eclipse. It begins at 1023 in the morning. Max 1152, about 81% of the sun will be covered. The partial eclipse, it's just a partial eclipse. That'll end about 129 tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we're going to see about 80% here, lower coverage off to the, uh, the northeast. And then this will be 100% coverage in this area here. Uh, down around to Midland and San Antonio. Right now, clear skies across the area, and that's my forecast tonight. Clear and comfortably cool tonight across uh, North Texas. Uh, I have nothing more than clear skies in place right now. Forecast has that 54, breezy and cooler tonight. During the day tomorrow, we hit 73. Pretty nice, huh? A dry day, a mostly sunny day, beautiful conditions for the viewing of the partial eclipse. There's the next 14 days. There it is. There's our one lone chance of rain. October 19th, Joe, October 19th, Thursday, 30% of us see rain. Then that means 70% of us won't see a drop. The following seven days, no rain. Temperatures stay nice, no 100-degree temps, no 90-degree temps, just some, just some nice weather.